Welcome to Christian Fitness. I'm your host, Robert, along with my beautiful wife and co-host, Lori. And today's program, as you can see, we got out of the studio. We're in beautiful Lake Seminole Park here in Florida. And uh, today, the reason we're in the park is we're going to do a walking show. And it's going to be pretty unique. I think you're going to enjoy it. And today, we're going to talk about a viewer that's courage really touched our hearts. Yeah, it was an email we received and it really blessed us. And you know, we encourage you to give us your feedback. Go on our website, christianfitnesstv.com and give us your feedback. But uh, this individual sent us an email that just truly, truly blessed us. And um, you know, we hope that we're an encouragement to them because they're gonna be an encouragement to you when you hear this. All right, today's walking show, we always start by stretching. So round number one, let's stretch. We're gonna start with our hamstrings. So we happen to be on this lovely little bridge in the park. We're gonna put our left leg up or right leg or whatever leg you want, <laughs> put your leg up and you just want to lean into it to really stretch that hamstring. Okay, what I like to do is push your toes away for the first maybe 10, 15 seconds of the stretch, and then pull your toes back for the last 10 or 15 seconds of that stretch. You can actually reach and grab the toe, Lori, and pull it back yourself. There you go, yeah, that'll really stretch that whole hamstring, and it starts to stretch your calf as well. All right, good, let's switch legs, go to the other leg. Now, if you haven't seen the show before, or even if you have, today is gonna to be unique. We normally work out for two minutes and then we take a one minute break. Laura and I are gonna do that today, but you at home, you have to work through the one minute break. What I want you to do today, I know it's not fair, but just bear with us today. Today, I want you to actually walk during the one minute break. Okay, you can walk in place in front of your TV in your living room, you can move some chairs and march around your couch, or you know, you can do this at the gym on a, a treadmill. Now, some of the exercises are kind of unique, so be a little bit careful if you're on a treadmill. Um, I'm not gonna give any of them away yet, but some of these exercises are really, really unique. You're gonna enjoy them. They're great to do just walking around the neighborhood. All right, let's do our calves now. Our hamstrings should be loose. For your calves, if you have a nice post like Lori does, she's gonna put her toe up against it, and then she's gonna try to push her knee into the post. Since I don't have a post, I'm just gonna reach down and grab my toe and then push my knee forward to my elbow. So yeah, Lori's got an advantage with that post, and this is a great way to stretch your calf. You don't just hold it there, pushing that knee into the post really stretches this back of the calf. Whereas if she had her knee straight, you can see there's not as much stretch as she drives that knee toward the post, really, really stretches that calf. Good, let's go with the other calf, Lori, left side. Make sure everything's nice and limber because we do some unique exercises. This is not just a regular walking show. We've got eight rounds of walking and some of them are pretty unique. They're gonna work some muscles you didn't realize you even had or that you would use to walk. All right, there we go, round number one. Everybody should be nice and loose. This is your one minute break. This is the only time you get to break. And we're gonna talk about fitness facts today. And Lori, Lori, what are our fitness facts? Well, our fitness fact today is about walking. And walking can improve your health no matter what your age is. The American College of Sports Medicine recommends 30 minutes of moderate exercise five days a week. And walking is the easy way to meet those standards. So walking, no matter where you are, we recommend doing that five days a week along with the American College of Sports Medicine. So it's a great way to exercise. Right, and that's 30 minutes, five days a week, and you can vary your exercises. So walking's a great one, as I said, to meet those standards. You mix walking into your regular exercise routine. So do our other shows, you know, you can do a full body a couple days a week, do our bike show, our lower body, and then walk twice a week, do that five days a week, and you're gonna get into shape. All right, round number two, which is our first actual exercise round. We're gonna start off with just simple calf raises. You just wanna step and raise up on your calf on one foot. Step and raise up, step. We're gonna do this for two minutes, okay? Now, if you're used to watching our program, we normally have a beginner, an intermediate, and an advanced. Today, you can gauge that on your own, all right? This is more of just, you know what, enjoy it. Everyone's a beginner, everyone's an intermediate, everyone's an advanced today. You just wanna get out with friends, family, whoever it is, and just enjoy the nature, and enjoy being with each other. All right, so this is the first round. We just come up on our calves. Really strength, mine are already, I'm already starting to feel it, and we just started. We've got this, <laughs> we're gonna do this for two minutes. And as we talked about for advanced, you can hold it up here a little longer if you want, so I may let Lori get ahead. She may work ahead of me. Remember, there's no advanced in a beginner. Just keep up at your own pace, but just keep going. So if you're in your house, it means walk around your couch, but just keep walking. Or stand in place. If you just want to exercise in front of the TV, you can step forward, raise up on your calf, step back, That's come right. back down. But after this round, we're really going to get into it and do some really unique walking exercises. But since we already stretched, we just want to work a little strength now before we get going. 
This is gonna really challenge you today. So remember, you have to get up off your couch. If you're on a treadmill, keep it a nice and slow pace so that you don't fly off the back. Just get a good stretch and strength building. I like to go nice and slow on this round, just to look around and you know, we had a squirrel run across the path earlier. <laughs> we had a beautiful cardinal, a male and a female cardinal, both, that came and visited us for a minute. Oh, that was so awesome. You know, cardinals marry for life, like we all should do as Christians. So that is, that was so exciting watching that. All right, and that clock's counting down. Now I want you to keep walking through this one minute break while Laura and I relax and share some information with you. All right, continue to walk through this one minute break. We're gonna share a little scripture with you. Lori has a scripture verse for each show. Of course, that's why we call it Christian Fitness. What's our verse for today, Lori? Today, we're gonna to talk about Joshua 1, verse eight and nine. And that I'm gonna read first is verse eight. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. The word meditate means mutter in Hebrew. So that means speak God's word, read his word, study it, but speak his word out of your mouth, mutter. Isn't that great? It's a Hebrew word, meditate and mutter, speak his word, read his word. All right, let's get back on the trail and we'll talk about that scripture again later. All right. I hope you continued walking during that one minute rest. Even though Laura and I got to relax, you're not allowed to. During those one minute breaks, I want you to keep walking. All right, this round, round number three, we're gonna call this a speed round. So we just want you to walk as quick as you can. All right, really pick up that pace during the two minutes. I want you to get your cardio up. All right, so you can get big arm swings. We're gonna do some different things later. This is just a normal walk for this round. Just get nice big arm swings, nice big strides, which Lori has a little tougher time. Even though I'm short, she has a little shorter legs than I do. So she, she's working a little harder than I am. But nice long strides. Watch for the branches. <laughs> yeah, we gotta watch for those. Watch for the, the little running animals down the trail. <laughs> yeah, I love this trail. I mean, hopefully you guys are enjoying this at home. If you're on a treadmill, you can walk and just enjoy the beautiful outdoors of Florida. We're at Lake Seminole Park. And uh, in Florida, and we, of course, thank the Parks and Recreation Department for allowing us to come out and shoot today, but just a beautiful Florida day. And uh, just get some good cardio. This is a two-minute round. Pick up the pace a little. You okay, Lori? I'm loving this. Right. I love walking anyway, so this is just a real treat for us. Yeah, and during that one minute, you know, you slow down a little bit. So during this two minutes, we're really moving. We got a pretty good pace going. During that one minute, you can slow down, get your heart rate down a little bit, and then get it back up for the next two minutes. Remember, this is a good in-between our other shows. Walking is a great way to get extra and work out. Do it with your family, take your kids out. It's a great time to spend time with other people and pray and walk, pray together and walk. Absolutely, just enjoy nature. If you've got a park, you know what, it's free. That's right. <laughs> you just pull in, you park, you get out, you walk, and just enjoy God's creation for free. And this is the day the Lord has made, so enjoy it. Beautiful, I love this trail. I do too. Hanging this Spanish wonderful. moss. Yep. It's just beautiful. Keep thinking about that the cardinal couple that we saw, those two little birds, precious. Today's nutrition tip is one that you might want to pass along to your family and friends. It's how to eat healthier while traveling. One of the best things you can do is pack some of your own food. Snacks that are high in nutrients are a really good choice. Things like granola bars and dried fruits. Those snacks can help you from getting so hungry that you end up going to a drive through and ordering something you shouldn't. If you eat at a restaurant, try and choose some of the lower fat items. Many restaurants have them actually marked on the menu for you. If you're gonna stay in a hotel, try to find a local grocery store and shop for healthier foods that you're used to eating at home. That way you can control your intake instead of eating out for every meal. Remember to stay away from fried foods, eat grilled or baked, and be careful at a salad bar. Those dressing, croutons, nuts, and all those other things you put on, that can add more fat than a triple cheeseburger. Our nutrition tip today is to be a smart traveler. You can still enjoy great tasting meals and watch your calories. All right, if you missed that nutrition tip or you want to pass that along to a friend, you can go to our website, christianfitnesstv.com, and look over that nutrition tip again. But man, that is so important. All right, I'm talking too much. We're missing our next exercise, which is a low walk. 
We want you to, the lower's already started. We want you to get lower, keep your thighs flexed the entire time so you never stand upright. Okay, this is an incredible thigh and lower leg workout. All right, what I like to envision when you're doing this is as we're getting warmed up, we want to start striding deeper and deeper. Yeah, you step out even more and more and envision yourself ice skating. Okay, it's almost like you're ice skating. So don't pretend we're in the hot Florida humidity <laughs> on asphalt. <laughs> we're up north somewhere. On the ice. On the ice, and you're gliding across the ice. But as you can see, our thighs are flexed the entire time. Okay, you don't get to stand upright and relax. It really works the thighs. And the deeper you reach, it's almost like you're doing one-legged squats because you're supporting all your body weight with the flexed thigh. Right, and if you put your arms out, it kind of helps you get that forward momentum. That's why I'm using my arms. I get extra cardio out of this. So really, really reach. And you'll feel like that ice skater reaching out. Yeah, and reach deeper and deeper. It's only a two minute round. We're more than halfway done. So really push it. Because after this, you get a one minute. You don't get to break. Lori and I are going to take a break. <laughs> but you guys, need one. <laughs> yeah, we want you to keep going. So you'll do a cool down. You'll just slow down a little bit and do a slower walk. But don't let your heart completely rest. Right. You want to keep a little cardio going even during those breaks. Because that first fitness fact talked about 30 minutes of activity. So keep your walking for 30 minutes. Try to walk through the whole show today. Reach out, reach Ooh, out more. Come on, Lori. I can feel this. Almost there. I see the finish line. Yes, I do too. Come on, you can do it. All right, keep walking at home. You see that little Christian fitness timer? You gotta keep walking for one more minute. Stay warm, get active. All right, our fitness facts. The first one we talked about being active at least five days a week for 30 minutes, and that's walking. What else can we do, Lori? Well, this is a great fact. Individuals who walk 30 minutes a day reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease by 50% compared to sedentary individuals. And a moderate pace at 3.5 miles per hour will get you about two miles, a little over in a half hour. So that is awesome, 50% decrease. So walk, so very important. Get that exercise, get out there and walk. Yeah, it's not a prescription your doctor has to write to get a 50% reduction in cardiovascular disease. Just get out there and walk and enjoy what God's given us. Look at this beautiful creation that we're enjoying today on our walk. And it's free. All right, round number five. Can you enjoy that fitness fact? We'll talk about that a little more, but let's get into this round's exercise. This is gonna be a fast pace arm swing. So really pick up the pace and swing your arms extra, okay? Just the ex arms. Yeah, extra <laughs> arm swing and a little bigger and faster stride. Now during those one minute breaks, we don't want you just resting like Lori and I were. We're allowed to do that because we're doing the show, <laughs> which we normally don't, okay? Right. We don't normally rest much. All right, but today we're gonna rest while you guys continue to work out during that one minute. So walk around your couch at a nice slow pace during the one minute, march in place in front of your TV, or if you're on a treadmill, just lower the rate, lower the speed of the treadmill for one minute. Now we're at the two minutes, you gotta increase that speed and get your arms going, okay? Really get your cardio up for this two minutes. I love that fact that you can reduce your risk by 50%. Right. That is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, and you know what? It's a half hour show. You talked about doing 3.5 miles per hour. That's right. But you can get about two miles in just over half an hour. So if you're doing this show with us and you're continuing through that one minute break, you might get your two miles in. Well, you know what else I think is really great too is that our camera crew is exercising with us today. <laughs> yeah. And they usually don't have to exercise. They're usually behind a camera. So God bless them for exercising <laughs> with us because they are really getting a workout today. And we hope you're working out at home. You know, we always talk about being interactive with Christian Fitness, getting off your couch and working out with us. You've got to do this one. I know you're probably enjoying the beautiful nature that you're getting to see here on the nature trail we're on, but you've got to get up and be active. So, you know, at least get up and march in place and you can still enjoy some of the scenery. I'm about to run into my husband. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I forgot the arm swing. I got so caught up in everything else. Oh, there's a bunny. Oh, we're passing by a bunny. <laughs> See, we really are enjoying this view. It's wonderful. Yeah, it's beautiful in here. All right, this is the segment that I've really looked forward to. It's the one we talked about in the opening of the show. This is our viewer feedback. 
we encourage you to go to our website, christianfitnesstv.com, and down there you can find a little link where you can send us an email. We received this email and it really, really blessed us. Lori, why don't you share that with us? After years of eating for comfort, stress, constant battle with self-esteem, injuries, and many other factors, I'm so ashamed of allowing my temple to be destroyed. Now I'm ready to fight back to health, but I do need a lot of help. Praise God, no longer just watch TV. I will participate with what I can. You know, that hit me so hard. Precious, precious beloved, we want to encourage you and many, many others. Keep going. Be of good courage. Know that you can do this along with us. A lot of times we go through trials, but we can get through all of us to encourage each other through this. All right, a special round. You're going to really enjoy this one. It's going to be called a crossover. So turn sideways. You want to step over and behind. Over and behind. We're going to do this for a minute. Okay, so if you're on a treadmill, you can watch the clock. And at a minute, we'll switch sides. So Laura and I will cross and we'll switch sides. But you can go, you know, get a little quicker pace <laughs> and really use your waistline, okay? You want your waist to swivel. Don't just try to cross your legs over. Really swivel your waist. This is great for the whole core that we always talk about the core strength. It's really twist this core, builds up the strength of the core. <laughs> I can't go as fast as my husband does. <laughs> I got little shorter legs. <laughs> I'd be having to dance. <laughs> yeah, it does. That probably is a dance move to that. It is. I feel like I'm dancing with you. Yeah, hopefully you're enjoying some of these special walks. And that's what we're trying to make. You know, you don't have to use all of these. You can go out for a walk around your neighborhood for half an hour and just mix in a couple of these. <clears throat> oh, but we just came out of that viewer feedback. Wasn't that phenomenal? Okay, one minute. Let's switch sides. Oh, good. Oh, I get you. to catch up with you. Yeah, Lord did it right in move, right in motion. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> Well, I used to dance, so it's a little bit easier for me because this is sort of a dance step. Yeah, we encourage you to go to our website, ChristianFitnessTV.com, and give us your feedback because that, that last letter blessed me so much because she's encouraged now through Christ. Exactly. <laughs> she's going to take control of her life and start taking care of her temple, the Holy Spirit. That just It really blessed us, so we thank you for that. We love hearing from all of you. We pray for all of you. So know that we have such encouragement from hearing from all of you and we really want you to continue to press into these exercises, press into the Word of God. Oh, did you just notice I came by, I was making sure I'm not going the wrong direction. <laughs> I don't want a bike or something to come, we'll have a head-on collision. <laughs> well, we did have that happen yeah, once so be careful while you're walking. By. All right, keep walking at home. I know Lori and I are sitting down taking a break, but we're going to get into the Word, so we need to sit down and relax. But you can just keep walking and listen to the Word. All right, Lori, we talked about Joshua 1.8 earlier. Are we going to continue with that? We are. We're going to talk about Joshua 1.8 and now verse 9. So verse 9 is, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid nor dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. God says be of good courage. He gives us that courage. He gives us strength. If we meditate on His Word, our strength comes from the Lord. Our courage comes from Him if we meditate on His Word. Amen. Amen. All right, that was some great, great scripture. Round seven now. In case you haven't noticed, this is going to be backwards. Now be very careful on this round. You want to glance over your shoulder periodically. Especially if you're on a winding trail like we are, <laughs> you want to make sure we don't end up in the bushes. But turn around <laughs> periodically, just see where you're going, but take good strides, all right? It's not just a little slow, casual walk. You want to take big, backward strides. Yeah, look at, look at those. There you go, Lori. Excellent. Big, backward strides. And we're coming up on a curve, so you got to really watch what you're doing. <laughs> but you're going to feel different muscle groups on this, all right? It's a whole different feeling when you're walking backwards, because you're really pushing off of the thigh and really stretching as you reach back. So it's a whole different strength and stretching. And it's fun, you get a different view. You get to see what was behind you. <laughs> yeah, earlier we met some squirrels and I never noticed this before, but girl, squirrels look like they're praying, they're eating. <laughs> Grab the food and do this, which we just came out of the scripture. Joshua 1, 8 and 9. Be of good courage. And the word meditate means mutter, 
Speak God's word over yourself. Speak it over your family. But be of good courage. God gives us courage. If you're on a treadmill, this is one you might want to try a little slower, okay? Because you may not be used to doing this on a treadmill. Oh. If you're in your house, not as much of a difficulty. You've got couches and everything to cushion you if you run into them. But outside, definitely, you want to actually stay on your toes a little bit, okay? Don't touch your heels as much. Stay on your toes so you have more balance. Because if I start clumping on my heels, it's going to knock me off balance. I want to stay on my toes so I'm a little bit more limber, a little bit more balanced. Because it's you can trip and fall. You can really feel different muscles when you walk backwards. I keep looking backward because I'm afraid I'm going to run into you. Yeah, we're on such a tight trail today. I normally recommend if you're going to walk backwards and you aren't used to it, is to do it in the grass. Yes. Okay, we just don't have a lot of room on this trail, but I really recommend walking backwards on the grass. All right, keep walking. I know Lori and I are relaxing, enjoying some of the beautiful lake here, but you guys keep walking at home. And this is our last fitness fact for the day. We've learned some incredible things already that Lori shared with us, that walking can reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease by 50%. That alone should be important enough to keep you walking. What else do you have to share with us? Well, walking is great. It's free. It doesn't require any special equipment. It's easy to fit into your day. You can enjoy it indoors or outdoors on a treadmill. Enjoy it with your friends or your family. Take your kids along. It's a great way to pray and walk. Do it every day if you can or every other day. Fit it in between our workouts. Yeah, and get, do it with your family. It's a great thing. You saw how much fun Lori and I are having on the trail, trying to keep up with each other and watch each other. And it's just a time to, it's just a time to be with family and commune, and commune with God and nature. Amen. All right, round number eight. We're going to revisit an earlier round, and it's going to be our fast-paced arm swing. So we really want you to get the cardio up during this round again because there's only two rounds left, at least two of the two-minute rounds. Now, those one-minute rounds, you've got to keep walking around, keep at a little lower pace, but you keep moving during those one-minute rounds because that one fitness fact was about getting 30 minutes of exercise. So it's a 30-minute show. You've got to walk through the whole show. And in those last fitness facts, those were great, Laura. Those were so important. They are. I mean, this one I love. I mean, you don't have to have equipment. You just yeah. do it inside, outside, no equipment. You just walk. Yeah, you can do it on a treadmill. You know what you can do? You get this DVD. Go to ChristianFitnessTV.com and get our DVD. And then play it in the gym and put it on the treadmill. Get everybody That's lined right. up on the treadmills with it on the TV up there. That's right. Show them a little bit of the park. Yeah, what great, beautiful views you're getting a chance to look at. I love watching TV if I'm on a treadmill. <laughs> I'd rather be outside, but this is a great way. And don't forget to go on our website. You can print out that sheet and take it with you if you're going to walk in a park and take those tips with you to remind you what exercises to do. Yeah, that crossover is a neat one because it really yes. works more of the stomach area, works that torso, that core, and that twisting. And then, of course, the lower walk, that one. You talk about cardio oh. and strength for the thighs. You know what? You could just do that one. Mix that one in for the 30 minutes. That one is a tough one. It's fun, but it's tough. I enjoy it. That's our ice skating version, right? Yes. Yes, you really feel yourself burn through that one. All right, almost done. We're coming up one more one minute where you guys keep moving. Lori and I are going to give you some more tips. And then we're going to have a last two-minute round. Get ready for it. We're almost there. This has been a fun, fun show. I hope everybody has enjoyed it. Well, if you're from up north, you get to see what some of Florida looks like. We encourage you to go to our website, ChristianFitnessTV.com. Got all kinds of neat information on there. We have something special on there for today's show. Lori, what do we have for today? I'm so excited about this. Besides having clothes and recipes and other things, today we are going to have all of the exercises on our website so that if you go walking and you want to print it out and you don't want to forget these exercises, go on our website. Those little tips are there for you so that you can kind of keep right along with us if you take a walk and go, oh gosh, I forgot something. Print it out. Take it with you. That way it'll help you remember what we have. Yeah, because hopefully you enjoyed some of these exercises and or they're walking, but they are exercises and I hope that you did them with us. And then, yeah, print this out or email it to a friend and encourage them. You know, if you guys walk for 30 minutes, it can get boring. So try some of these unique walks. All 
All right, last round, round nine. Good job, congratulations. All right, this round we're gonna take long strides as our last two minutes. So as long as you can stretch. Okay, so stretch way, way out. As long as you can stretch and keep a good pace up, all right? Really stretch out your legs on this one. You're gonna stretch and get a good cardio. So as long as you can step out. Yeah, Lori's gonna have a little harder time keeping up with her little short legs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am a lot shorter, but I love this one. We could stretch, it feels so good. All right, we're getting deeper into the round. We wanna go longer, longer <laughs> strides. This is it, this is the last two minutes. You wanna get as long a stride as you can. Yeah, and really swing your arms, Whoops. keep your balance. <laughs> Sorry, honey. If you're doing this one with your family, have mercy if you have your kids with you <laughs> and they have little tiny short strides. That's so true. <laughs> This is going to take them forever, okay? They're two or three strides to your one. They'll be so, running. Yeah, so you go a little slower with your kids. Really stretch it out. This is the last round. You've been working your legs really hard, especially if you did the crossover and that low ice skating one. Your legs are going to be sore, so just really reach out and stretch them out on this one. You may find muscles tomorrow that you didn't know you had. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling a few right now, as a matter of fact. We hope you enjoy our website. Remember, go on there, ChristianFitnessTV.com, and get those little notes from today's workout. That way you can take them with you to the park like we are, and look down and go, oh yeah, round number three, they did the, you know, this step, and then round number four, they did this step. Right. And you can mix those into your walk. It makes it a little more fun than just coming out and having a normal walk. Try a couple of these, I think you'll enjoy it. That's true. All right, we're almost done, Lori. You ready to speed it up a little? Yes, I am. Just finish strong. All right, let's go. Finish strong. Or are we racing? <laughs> Congratulations, you made it. That was the last round of walking. Wasn't that interesting doing that little deeper, deeper lunge walk? So that'll really stretch some things out and give you a little extra workout. You know, I had somebody recently come to me and say that they needed to be right with God. And if you have that question, and, or you just need to renew your relationship with Jesus Christ, pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I know that you died on the cross for me and rose again. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer with us, we believe you're born again. Give your testimony to everyone you can and call the CTM prayer line. We always close our program with 3 John 1, 2. Beloved, I pray that in all respects you may prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospers. God bless you and thanks for joining us. We love you guys. Mm -hmm.